What is up, guys? It is Farming Fred, and we are back on the channel today. And, um, guys, we made a lot of changes around the farm. It's our final day of corn harvest, but man, it looks different than it's looked all season. Let's get it. So, guys, to start this off, um, lots of events have been taking place. As you can see here, guys, we bought our high country back, and I'll just kind of go around and explain how everything kind of worked itself into play. Um, so there is a farmer who's good friends with my dad who's going to be getting out, um, and he wanted to, oh, he wanted me to rent some of his ground next year. Well, guys, it's expensive, and I needed some money, so I messaged the guy who had my high country, and I said, hey, I'll trade you a 2022 Dodge Ram 55, or, um, 3500, and, um, I said, I'm going to need cash on your end, though. And I wheeled and dealed with him a little bit. I had to end up giving up my fuel tank, but I was fine because I wanted to buy a Thunder Creek fuel trailer anyways. So I ended up um, doing that, and I got rid of the Dodge and got my High Country back, which it's a little bit more beat now than when I owned it. Um, I convinced my dad, guys, to sell our sets of wagons. So I sold <coughs> my set and his set and the Volvo. And we bought a new truck and a new trailer, and then we're running the other Peterbilt. But um, it's pretty close to our other Peterbilt. It's just this one has a pusher axle on it, and we got a Wilson Pace setter. So, yeah, there's that. Um, that was before I knew I was going to be renting this ground. And then to gain some more cash, guys, I traded the Fent off at the Agco dealership. They had a Cat Challenger, and I, I don't know, I picked it up. It's an older one. But um, it'll be nice. Um, it's it's got like I think it's got 450 horsepower, so it'll be plenty big. But um, kind of sad that we had to get rid of the brand new Fent. But maybe we'll get another one back someday. It's just I really need money around if I'm going to be uh, renting ground, and um, so that was the most expensive thing I think I owned. So other than maybe our combine, so I was like, yep, we'll get it gone. Um, so guys, this is our new cat challenger not new but um <laughs> kind of new to us we downgraded it in my eyes just a little bit but i do like it it's not that i don't like it it's just it's older than our fence so um i was just gonna go trade that fence on my 9630 um but it sold so i said what do you got in the 450 or the 400 to 450 horsepower range and I said well we just got a challenger on trading and it's older and guys the numbers were very good so I could not resist um, we do have some green corn yet guys so we're gonna try to skip it is the plan um, I don't know what's going on with that stretch there it, uh, it just decided to not be done yet so I told um, told my buddy who's here helping me today I said just just avoid that so we're um, we're gonna be running grain cart today guys and getting this last cornfield out so I'm looking forward to it very excited I do like the Challenger I'm not I'm not gonna deny it I do I think it looks better than the Fent personally I mean the fence body panels look better but the colors I'm just I don't know I like the yellow more but um, I thought about getting another deer it's just I don't know, when I had an Agco, I figured the most I'm going to get for it is at the Agco dealer, considering I bought it from them, and, um, I mean, they would want to have it, I think, because they can, I mean, it's not brand new anymore, but, guys, I put, like, four hours on it, so it, it's still pretty new. He's probably going to get me unloaded here, and we are going to end up bailing this, guys, for corn stocks, so, uh, it's so on this grain cart there we go but um kind of had to get a little diagonal in there but i do i don't know it fits in nice it's just older is all but it'll be okay it will it will the new truck is so nice though guys um but i'm doing the same rule i don't really want to drive it in the field so that's why they're i mean we're opening up the field but also the fact that i don't want them to really have to just um have to be getting all scraped up by corn stalks. If I was going to drive one in the field, I think it'd be that blue one now. I like that orange and white one a lot more, which my plan for this winter, guys, is we're going to um, plan on painting that blue one. Um, 
I'm gonna rip it all, all the chrome and everything off of it, and strip it down a little bit, and we'll hopefully get that thing. Um, oh, uh, painted to be matching. I want to paint it white and uh, orange, just like the one we have now. I also wanted to get a black grain trailer for that orange and white one, but. It didn't work out that way, guys. I ended up getting a white one. My dad really likes the white grain trailers, so since we went on it together, we decided just to get a white one to match the other truck. So if I ever get the chance, though, I'm going to switch it to black, I think. And when we trade that Tempty in, I don't know, guys. So far, I'm a fan of the Wilson a little bit more than that Tempty we have just because it can hold more. So maybe I'd get a bigger Tempty. I don't know. I, um, I don't know. I don't mind the Tempty. It's just... Uh, the Wilson, in my opinion, is a little nicer, but it's also newer. So if I get another Wilson on that other Peterbilt, I'd be pretty happy with that setup. And if they both matched, that'd be really sweet. But we'll just have to see what happens. So probably, guys, no new combine. I was hoping to get a new combine, hoping to get a new green car, but I'm going to have to bank on having some cash around for renting this ground. It's going to be kind of expensive. I was hoping to... We'll see what happens, but he's got a he has got a half section across um, from my place. He he owns the whole half section there, and I'm uh, very interested in purchasing that. So I'm trying to get as much cash around as I can. Um, we do have a lot of corn right now, guys. It yielded a lot better this year than expected, so that's that is a plus. But. Um, yeah, so it's pretty exciting stuff, and um, we're just looking forward to grabbing more ground. It'll be awesome. All right, guys, so we're starting to dump again here. We're going to get him dumped for a second time. I don't know why he takes the corners and then he leaves them. Hope he goes back for it more. We're going to end up having to drive right through this corn because it's just how it's going to have to work out. Hope you guys are all having a great um, Thursday, and uh, week's almost over, which is pretty exciting. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys, about tomorrow. Um, I thought about trying something new and doing trucking Fridays and just posting American Truck Sim videos on Fridays. But um, I don't know. I really like playing Farm Sim, so I don't know. I think it's more enjoyable content to make for me. I don't know. I like playing Truck Sim. Just. I don't know, for a series, I like doing this more. I'd say we probably, I don't know, I thought about just going with him until I'm completely full. Then we'll go dump in the truck at least. The nice thing, guys, about having that orange and white truck is it's got that pusher on it, and that pusher axle, like, increases our capacity, I think, is it 5,000 pounds, maybe? If we had a tag on our um, trailer, it would be, like, I forgot what you can legally haul with that. I'm not 100% sure, because I know, I know it's, like, 80 or whatever legal weight for, for our, um, if we had, like, for our Tempty trailer, it's different, but if we had, like, that blue Peterbilt on the Wilson, I know it would be, like, 80 would be the legal. Okay, let's just take this and call it good. No, I'll have to rush back out here because it'll probably be ready to be full again. Then, yeah, guys, we'll have to get the baler over here. Bale this. I got to get some fall hay cut. It's going to be my last cutting of hay. I'm really behind on it, so... We'll have to do that in one of these videos. We'll have to do some fall tillage, and then winter will be around the corner, guys, before we know it. So, unfortunately. It 
it is a nice setup though guys this the thing is this tractor is from the era of this grain cart so it looks right it's just our combine is so new but not that big of a deal i um i really don't want to go older on our combine the only way i'd go older is if we could find one with less hours then maybe i would at this rate if i was going off of looks i'd say i'd want a class lexion because i think it'd look awesome with this green carton tractor but if i'm gonna just keep it with the deer i'd i'd be interested in an sts combine if i could find the right deal on one we'll just go out right here which we could have pulled them in i didn't even realize that we could have just pulled them in over here no we'll just leave them on the road it's fine our bean field sitting right there and can't believe we're on the last one guys it feels like it's I don't know I, I feel like it's gone pretty quick honestly but final corn harvest or final field for harvest I guess don't hit our stack Now we'll probably run the, let's say we'll run the, um, I'm debating guys, if I run the truck or not, or if I wait till they're both full, and then just run them both. Guys, that uh, orange and white one is just as loud as our blue one, it's straight piped and everything. So, unfortunately, they're both very loud, which kind of stinks because then when I'm trying to talk and um and do uh some driving, it's it's hard to hear me. I noticed that in the last video that I made, I was kind of when I was editing it, I was like, uh, oh, this isn't too cool. But um, I'll just try to talk a little louder, I guess, if I'm uh if I'm running the truck, I'm not sure what to do. Um, okay. If we could go this way and then get turned around, maybe we'll make that work. Opening fields, guys, it sometimes takes a while, unfortunately. Got our CB in here, and we are set to go. They had a 7 Series um, Challenger, which I considered uh, a newer one they had. But, I don't know, I kind of wanted to, I guess, avoid getting something that new again, just because it's so expensive. Try to make the whip. There we go. I was going to say we'll just dump him when we get to the other side, but I don't think he's going to make it there. And my buddy liked it so much last time, guys, that he was like, "Oh, I'll come and I'll come and help you for sure this time." So I was like, "Oh, okay, that'd be handy actually," because my parents are still on vacation, so my dad hasn't even got to see the new truck yet. Try to miss this here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This should fill Oh, huh? Can't remember. Did we? Oh, man. Can't remember if we got the, uh, what we all did to the second truck. Whether we got it, this could fill it. I'm not sure. Not sure what we're at for length on the video either, guys. There's kind of... Kind of just rolling with it, so we'll see. We might haul a load yet with the truck. We're not too far from our house, which is nice. But once our um, once our bin is full, I don't know. My dad said I could put some in his, but then I got to move the auger and everything over to his place. So we might just end up taking it and selling it immediately. I mean, I haven't really looked in to see what the ethanol um, is putting on their corn prices right now. I should have locked in a month ago, or, well, I guess it was a couple months ago, I should have locked in at that seven bucks. That would have been so nice. Um, call that 
good. Just rip it out on the road here. Oh man, I don't have a telephone pole. Okay. Put our flashers on just because we're trying to be safe. I don't think we're going to quite get it filled, guys. It's going to be really close, but I think we're going to still be a little shy. Which I should have just... It'll be so... I mean, I don't even know if it's worth bringing the tractor back out and dumping that much in. Try to just swing around here. That's the nice thing about this tractor. It turns on a dime. Um, we might just run the trucks. Park the... Caddy. Pillar right there. Uh, we got time to run a truck. Could just run the new one, but again, guys, they are loud. Um, let's see here. We might just call it a video, guys. We got the field opened up. I mean, that's that's pretty good. And then um, in the next one, we'll probably be combining corn again. Maybe fall tillage or maybe bailing. I'm not sure. Maybe putting down some hay. I'm not sure yet, guys, where we're going to be. But um, we got a pretty good start here. We got both the trucks full um the new ch challenger is getting her done so i'm pretty happy with it it's it's um it's different than the fent but i i mean i don't mind it it's older but i like it it'll be a it'll be a pretty good tractor first to have then we have our two trucks which is nice i do like that we got our um our high country and then we have our thunder creek fuel trailer Things are looking good for us, guys. They are, they are. I do like the high country. I'm glad we have the high country back. So with that being said, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for all the support um, with the channel. And I just hope we'll keep, uh, keep growing and see what happens in the future. I'm not sure yet what the next video is going to um, be about exactly. But um, if you guys want to see some more farming content, come back for it because you already know that's what it's going to be. Um, just not sure what we're going to be doing yet. So like always guys, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.